Good evening, everybody. I want to preface this by saying that this entire program was written by GBT about an hour ago, so we're all hearing it for the first time together. Uh, it is with great pleasure and a deep sense of responsibility that I stand before you to deliver the State of, a chamber, State of the Chamber Address. As we gather here each year, we have an opportunity to reflect on the challenges that we faced and also the triumphs that we've celebrated. We want to thank you for your unwavering support, your dedication, and your commitment to Phoenixville. And this evening, we are thrilled to be unveiling plans for a new Chamber Headquarters. Here behind me, you'll find a schematic of our new offices that are currently slated to be open within the year at 710 Main Street. The champions of the Community Awards were established by the Foundation to honor those unsung heroes of Greater Phoenixville who give freely of their time, their talents, and their treasure to make sure everyone in our community is, has the support that they need to thrive. Our two champions this evening embody the ideas of selfless service. While each serves the community in different ways, they both make a tremendous impact. Our first champion is Moira Mama, nominated by Alicia DeMott. Moira recently retired as Executive Director of Citizens Advocacy of Chester County after an incredible 36 years of service. Wow. Yeah. I'm deeply grateful I've been able to give my career spend it here in Phoenixville with all of you and how much all of you have been a part of citizen advocacy and my life. And I'm just very, very grateful. So thank you so, so much. Our second champion of the community is Jared Smith, nominated by Kristen McGee. Jared is a dedicated volunteer with a number of nonprofits in the area, including Anne's Heart and Delaware Valley Veg. You can find Jared every week in the kitchen at Anne's Heart cooking up meals for the community. In addition, he volunteers with the Phoenixville JCs and Save the Schuylkill, and if that's not enough, he rescues ducks for Good Sprout Rescue. Jared, we're proud to present you with tonight's second Champion of the Community Award. Thank you so much. It feels good to be recognized. Uh, and I, I love helping this community because uh, Phoenixville has become my new home. Uh, I just want to thank everybody here for welcoming to it. We are joined now by um, two of our county commissioners, our chairperson of the commissioners, Josh Maxwell, as well as Vice Chair Mary Moskowitz. If you guys wouldn't mind joining us at the podium quickly. And what this borough has done over the last 10 years and much longer uh, 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 in revitalization economically, but also on the nonprofit side of things, uh, not leaving anybody behind in this town uh, is really remarkable. And there's so many lessons we can take from just the culture of Phoenixville and extend it out through Chester County. So just know that we appreciate that the work you're, you're doing. We're here to take notes, uh, to learn from you, um, and congratulations on a wonderful evening. And congratulations to all the people that are getting awards. You deserve them. Have a great night. So I admire you, I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for everything you do day in and day out, and I congratulate all the winners. You're all very special in my book. Thank you. First, we're going to begin with our Nonprofit of the Year, which demonstrates exceptional leadership and compassion, setting an example for peers and adults alike. Our Nonprofit of the Year is Kit's Closet. In Phoenixville, we have the amazing opportunity of being surrounded by so many great nonprofits, and I'm so excited to work amongst them. So to everybody in the room, thank you. Our first merit award presented this evening is to Tyler Fries. Tyler is a lifetime resident of Phoenixville. A graduate of the University of Delaware, he returned to Phoenixville to work at Fries Insurance. Tyler has asked us to share the following. Thank you to the Phoenixville Chamber of Commerce and all of its members for this award. I am terribly sorry that I cannot be in attendance tonight. My family has been in this community for generations and I have some very large shoes to fill. I love to help people, especially those within Phoenixville. I look forward to continuing to support this great town and organization and serving wherever I can. Our next Merit Award recipients tonight are Carrie and Ethel Cook. Yeah. 
There is rarely an event in Phoenix at which Carrie and Ethel Cook don't volunteer. Carrie and Ethel have been longtime members of the Seroptimus Club of Phoenixville, where they serve in leadership roles, and they both serve on the Board of Citizen Advocacy. Ethel as president and with Carrie holding the position of community outreach liaison. Wow, thank you. Uh, this is really awesome. <laughs> um, it's really amazing to be nominated and we're truly honored to be selected for this award. It's our pleasure to serve this fantastic community of Phoenixville. Uh, the message is uh, get out and volunteer take a family member or a friend, and have fun. I'd like you to uh, please help me now welcome our 2023 Outstanding Citizen of the Year and previous Chamber Board Chairman Fred Hubler to introduce our Business Development Award winners. The spirit of the Business Development Award honors entrepreneurship, sustainability, aesthetic improvement, and the productivity of two Phoenixville businesses. Something that is true feat of excellence given the landscape of business in recent years. Perch Plants Odds and Ends is home to a wide variety of plants along with an assortment of cute, quirky, and cool gifts. Jess Springer worked in children's television as a prop maker and designer for over a decade before deciding to pursue a career in plants. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful to receive this award. When I started to dream up Perch Plants and Odds and Ends, I really wanted to carve out a space that felt welcoming, fun, and a little weird. Something that reflected this special town. I'm honored to be a part of this community, and I want to thank you all for the support. This evening's second Business Development Award is Studio 323. 323 is Jill and Abby, a mother-daughter duo, bringing creativity to Phoenixville in a whole new way. You may recognize Abby as our resident face painter for First Friday, as well as a number of other events in our community. An art studio, gallery, and shop, they, per, they offer creative experiences like art classes and workshops for kids and adults, private events and services like face painting and parties for every occasion, a curated selection of shoppable handmade goods, and a rotating gallery featuring local artists. We are so grateful to be in this community of Phoenixville. Um, it was intentional to open our business here in this community, and yet we are ever surprised by the support and affirmation we receive from other business owners and community people and families in Phoenixville. Jess is in charge of the agenda. One thing she always leaves off every year is any recognition for Jessica Capistrant, President of the Chamber of Commerce. So could we please give her a round of applause? Thank you, Fred. Your check is in the mail. <laughs> That's the whole reason he came. Our chairperson, Buffy McClelland, would be typically presenting the Chairman's Award. The Chairman's Award is actually not specifically an annual award. It is a specialty award, as is our Legacy Award. And what that means is that they are not necessarily presented every year, but they are presented in special recognition when that recognition is due. Buffy, unfortunately, cannot be with us this evening because she is down and out with the flu. Uh, but she... Uh, sends her regards and, and is, uh, was, is with us here in spirit for sure this evening. Julian McCracken to present this award this evening. Welcome, Julian. Uh, thank you, Jessica, and it's, a, it's an honor to be here to uh, talk about my dear friend Charles. Charles Henry was a fixture in Phoenixville since the 1950s. A 1967 graduate of Phoenixville High School, Charles went on to Penn State where he received his accounting degree and met Lynn, the love of his life, the family seated right over here, to whom he was married for 46 years. Charles left an indelible mark on Phoenixville and on those whose lives he touched. He is and will be missed. Accepting on Charles' behalf is his, fa is his family, and I'd like to recognize them and have them come up, his beloved wid widow Lynn, their children, Melissa and uh, his wife, Christina, and his daughter, Melissa, and her husband, Nathan. Congratulations to Charles. Our next award winner is one who's created a legacy. To create a legacy is not only to leave a mark on people you know, it is to change the world for generations to come. This evening's Legacy Award recipient has without question done just that. 
It can sometimes be difficult to put a dollar amount on someone's legacy, but in the case of Barbara Cohen, we can give you an exact figure. <laughs> and it is $7,270,518. Long before anyone else had a vision of what Phoenixville could become, Barbara walked the broken sidewalks of this worn and weathered town and imagined what it could be. She hiked through the weed-choked property at the steel company and the at time defunct for more than a decade. She stood in front of the foundry. Where others saw an abandoned building dressed in ruin and decay, Barbara saw life. She didn't care that others didn't see her vision. She was determined to make them see it, and that's exactly what she did. For more than three decades, Barbara has dedicated herself to Phoenixville, its revitalization and preservation of its storied history. Please give a warm welcome to Barbara Cohen. Thank you very much for your kind words. So it is important to know is all of us, good ideas go nowhere unless you have the community to support what you're trying to do. All of this, celebrating Phoenixville's history and letting the next, next, next generations enjoy it and celebrate it too. Thank you very much. Our final honoree this evening is our Outstanding Citizen of the Year, Dodie Strunk. One of the best things about Dodie Strunk is the way that she quietly makes a difference in people's lives. Never one to step fully into the spotlight, Dodie has worked behind the scenes for decades to support the Phoenixville community. Her support for the nonprofit community comes in many forms, volunteerism, financial support, and service on boards of directors, including the Phoenixville Regional Chamber of Commerce, the Phoenixville Area Senior Center, the Phoenixville Community Health Foundation, and Healthcare Access of Phoenixville. For these and the hundreds of other selfless acts that she has done without saying a word to anyone, we are proud to present Dodie Strunk with the 2024 Outstanding Citizen of the Year Award. Thank you very much. Um, I wanna thank the Chamber for this award. I know that there are many who are deserving and it's never an easy decision. I am especially thankful because I know you are, in addition to putting on this event, you are in between homes. <laughs> um, I am incredibly grateful to live in a town where I have had so many opportunities to give back in a way that is meaningful to me. Congratulations again to all of our incredible winners, and we are so grateful that you spent the evening with us. I do want to ask all the winners that are in the room with us this evening or here on behalf of folks, if you could please join us at the front at the end so that we can uh, take some photos with our wonderful photographer, Mr. Adam. And uh, we, again, are so grateful to be in this community. Um, this membership is really special. It's really unique. It's very dynamic. And we know that we are moving into different seasons of our community and uh, what things mean for Phoenixville and how it's gonna continue to grow. And again, we just can't wait to do that with you. Thank you so much.